Everybody loves balloons. Come on, let's dance. <laughs> Don't let the balloons fall to the ground. Keep them in the air. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Here is Mrs. Wolf. Who wants bubbles? Me, me, me. Okay, I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow some bubbles. <laughs> I love bubbles. They are a bit like balloons. But they pop when you touch them. Watch. Woo! See, I popped one. <laughs> 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 We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me! me, 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 me. <laughs> okay. Hooray! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, Mrs. Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the sky. Ooh. Look at that big bubble! That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um... You howl. Ow! Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can you teach us how to do that? OK. First, you have to look up at the moon. And then you howl. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Wendy Wolf. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh, no. It's against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You could go in now. Surprise! For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. And as you say, all of us. Hooray! Here is a present for you an antique clock. Ooh! It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper. All I said was no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! I will be teaching for many years to come. Who else could be the teacher? No one! I'm very happy Madame Gazelle is not leaving. Yes, and I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music. <gasps> oh, oh, the rocking gazelles! Hello, Gigi. Have you still got your guitar? <laughs> of course. Let's uh, rockety rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is Mr. Potato himself. Welcome to Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. See how vegetables grow, learn how they keep us fit and healthy, and get shot into space by the Potato Rocket! <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to ride on the Potato Rocket. George wants to ride on the potato rocket, too. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. 
Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear George. <clears throat> Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off too. George away! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it's stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Whee! Daddy. Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dinosaur garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. Now it's time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! Pass the parcel! Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that is Zaza's medal. <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. Finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. <laughs> this is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> Goose, please. Cheese, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy, Happy birthday, Edmund. Edmund. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> <gasps> Don't be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and... <laughs> and now, there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! George. <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? <laughs> What do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? 
<laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George, why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. Hooray! <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> Peppa and George have buckets of water. Mummy Pig has balloons. <laughs> I wonder what Daddy Pig's birthday surprise can be. <laughs> Quick, back to the house. Daddy Pig is home from work. Happy birthday, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Wow, what a lot of candles. That's because you are very, very old, Daddy. <laughs> you must blow out all your candles in one go. <laughs> I'll do my best. <gasps> <laughs> and here's your birthday present. Thank you. New boots. Fantastic. Let's try them out. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are wearing their boots. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his birthday boots. Daddy Pig has found a little puddle. Let's see if these boots work. The puddle is a bit too little for Daddy Pig. Hmm. What I need is a big puddle. <laughs> Why not try over here, Daddy Pig? Oh, what's this? It's your special birthday surprise. <laughs> shh, shh. <laughs> what are they up to? A big muddy puddle. Fantastic! <laughs> My birthday boots work perfectly. Would you care to join me in my birthday muddy puddle? <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. This is my best birthday ever. Welcome to my sleepover. I'll pick you up in the morning. Bye-bye, Peppa. Bye. <laughs> Rebecca, Susie and Emily are already here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. I've got my teddy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Zoe has her toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Emily has her frog. <laughs> Susie has her owl. Twitterwoo. And Rebecca has her carrot. Carrot, carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Zebra is watching television. <laughs> Better. I was watching that. But it was a bit boring, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Zebra is going to bed now. He has to get up early to deliver the post. Very well, Mummy Zebra. Don't stay up too late. Good night, Mummy. Peppa and her friends are getting into their sleeping bag. <laughs> Zoe's baby twin sisters, Zuzu and Zaza, want to join the sleepover too. The sleepover is only for big girls. Oh, they're so sweet and little. Can they stay? OK, but you must promise you'll stay awake. We promise. <laughs> wow, a piano. I'm having lessons. Listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Can I have a go? And, and me. me! Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Shush! You must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now, into your sleeping bags, please. What do we do now? On sleepovers, there's always a midnight feast. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the amazing Mysterio. OK, 
OK, Daddy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Magic Daddy. Hooray! For my first trick, Abracadabra. <gasps> wow, it's Daddy. For my next trick, I need a helper from the audience. Me, me, me. me. <laughs> I just need one. <sniffs> Young lady, you put your hand up first. Can you tell the audience your name? <laughs> Susie Sheep. OK, Susie, here are three balls. A red one, a blue one and a yellow one. OK. You have to secretly choose one while my back is turned. OK. Have you chosen one? Yes. Abracadabra! You chose... Yellow. No. Uh, abracadabra. Blue. No. Abracadabra. Red. Yes, it is red. Hooray! <laughs> Silly magic, Daddy. You said all three colours. Shush, Peppa. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> 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 Would you like one more trick? Yes, please. Close your eyes. No looking. Say the magic words. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Open your eyes. Ooh. Hooray! My banana birthday cake. Blow the candles out, Pepper. <gasps> Hooray! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Pepper. Pepper. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper, and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> this is fun! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Pepper and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. <coughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> One, two, three. Open your eyes. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mummy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely surprise! Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Beautiful, Mummy. <coughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre tonight. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> what a super birthday. I'm the luckiest mummy in the whole world. <coughs> and the most beautiful. <laughs> this music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. Marvellous marching children! Wasn't that fun? Yes, my Majesty! <laughs> the next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. <laughs> This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Ugh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
Hello. I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. This is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. There. Oh. Now tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I like the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And, and me. And me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? Squash. <laughs> Slide. <laughs> This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end! <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it! I'll have to go in. Good luck. Ooh. Ah, I'm stuck. Help. Don't worry, I'm coming in. I'm nearly there. Oh, no, I'm stuck too. Help. Hello. Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant. Help, we're stuck. <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't. You'll get stuck. It's a trap. Ah, I'm stuck. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Hi. We're, We're stuck. stuck! Ho, ho! That usually happens to me! That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! <laughs> that almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet? Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. Ooh. Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh. Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow. This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. 
Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic. Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. It is the day of the children's fate. All the grown-ups are here. Hello, grown-ups! Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Get your money out for the new school roof! Emily Elephant is in charge of the bric-a-brac stall. Roll up! Roll up! All sorts of bits and bobs! What a lot of bric-a-brac, Emily! You will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr Fox. Mmm! This all looks very interesting. Balloons! Lovely balloons! Would you like a balloon, Madame Gazelle? May I have a red one? How much is it? How much have you got? Oh, of course! We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle! I've got rid of everything! Wonderful, Emily! How much money have you raised? Money? Did you not get some money for the bits and bobs? I didn't need to. Mr Fox took it away for nothing. <laughs> get your face painted here. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK, can I be... A plum! There. Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr. Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs. Cat has won a digger. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this noise about then? Nay. They're trying to push us out of the sandpit. No, we're not. Yes, you are. George started it. That's That's right. Right. That's right. Oh dear. The countries of the world are not playing nicely together. Peace and harmony in all the what? What's that noise? Oh no! The countries are fighting. We can't play in the sand pit. Yes, we can. It's not fair. Stop arguing, Susie. You're always telling people what to do. No, I am not. Children, children. What is happening? <laughs> America, Russia, Spain and Greece won't share the sand pit. <laughs> Holland is being bossy. You're the bossy one. That is enough. Is this how you think the countries of the world behave? Um, don't they? Of course not. Sorry, Sorry Madame Gazelle. Gazelle. <laughs> Hello. All the parents have arrived. How is International Day going? Uh, not too bad. Excellent. <laughs> Lovely. We will now sing for you the Song of Harmony. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony. Hooray! What a Wonderful display of togetherness. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love singing together in harmony. All the countries of the world love singing together in harmony. We have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music.
Or the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now, we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. The parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra. Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. Dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur, a real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, please. These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look! There are some green steps. It's a big slide! Whee! Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! Ah! <laughs> that is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus! Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit! We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But, Peppa, where is your clown costume? OK, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes! I'll be the ringmaster! <sniffs> what do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible. The 
amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing Candy Cat. <laughs> George, Richard and Edmund on tricycles! <laughs> Don't stop clapping. It's the strong Danny dog. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. Watch me. Wow! Oops, I'll just get the ball back. Hello, Mummy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? Yes, but please play more carefully in future. Yes, Mummy Pig. Sorry, Mummy Pig. Here is Danny Dog. What are you doing? We're playing bat and ball. My daddy is very good at it. He batted the ball all the way into the house. Well, can I play bat and ball too? Uh, maybe it's time for a different garden game. Like what? Limbo! What's limbo when it's at home? I'll show you. I know. You jump over it. It's much too high to jump over. Ho, ho, ho. We go under the limbo pole and we need music to do it. <laughs> Daddy Pig is very good at limbo. Wow! Ah, but now we'll put the pole a bit lower. <laughs> OK. Oh! Daddy, your tummy is too big to go under the pole. My tummy is not too big. I just can't bend like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> My turn! And me! And me! <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. Now we'll put the pole even lower. Ooh. Easy, Daddy. <laughs> it's impossible. Nobody can go under that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. George can do it. Hooray! George is the best at limbo dancing. George <laughs> likes playing garden games. I'm making a butterfly mask. Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <laughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> And my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. Brrr. Dinosaur. <laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> So, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please? Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK, 
I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. It's a funny magic mirror spoon. <laughs> I know where there are some big funny mirrors. Really? Wobbly mirrors in a tent. Where are these wobbly mirrors? At the fair. The parents have brought the children to the fair. Roll up, roll up. See my amazing wobbly mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> the tent is full of big wobbly mirrors. Ooh, what's happened to my body? <laughs> <laughs> You're a wobbly jelly! <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble! How does it do that, Daddy? It's very simple. Illusions of optical differentials by convex and concave surfaces generate patterns... So it's magic? Uh, yes. It's magic. Look at me! <laughs> I've gone all squishy! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a long neck, like a giraffe. <laughs> this mirror looks normal to me. Daddy, where's your big tummy gone? What tummy? <laughs> <laughs> it is Mummy Rabbit with her baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, sister. How are you today? Very good, sister. Mustn't chat for long, though. I've got customers inside the tent. Oh, the mirror's amazing, Daddy Pig. Wow. I can see two of you. What do you mean? I can see you in the mirror, but there's no mirror. Is it magic? Silly, Daddy. It's Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit. Oh. I suppose we do look a bit the same. Well, we, we are, are sisters. sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Monkey, would you like a cup of tea? Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says yes. What's the magic word, Mr. Monkey? Oh, oh, oh. That means please. Oh, we haven't got a tea set. We could make a tea set out of play clay. Yes. George, can we use a play clay, please? No. Grrr. Zuzu, Zaza, we need to make a tea set for our tea party. No. You can help us make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the teapot and we'll make the cups. <laughs> <laughs> there, now Monkey can have tea. Oh, this teapot is too soft. Real tea sets aren't soft. <coughs> My mummy makes real pots. She does pottery. Ooh. <coughs> mummy, can you help us make a tea set, please? With teacups and a teapot that we can put real water in. OK, come with me. This is where Mrs Zebra makes her pottery. Let's make this tea set. What's that? Clay. All pottery starts off like that. But it's soft, like play clay. We need it to be soft so we can shape it. But later, it won't be soft. Ooh! Mummy Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There. One cup. Wow! <laughs> that looks Easy! Would you like to try? Yes, please! <laughs> it's all slimy! <laughs> ah, it's all gone wrong! Here's a nice cup of tea, Grandpa Pig. Oh, thank you, Granny Pig. At last! Are we all ready now? Mr. Dogbeard, I need to go to the toilet. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. 
what can be keeping them? Hello? Grandad Dog? I thought you said you were on your way. Yes, yes, we're almost there. It's taken a while to get my crew together. Anchors away! Full sail! The children have arrived at Grandpa Pig's orchard. <laughs> the game is to get that treasure without being caught. Hooray for the, the pirates! Shush, Mummy! I hope there are no pirates around here trying to take my lovely treasure. Pepper and her friends have got the coins without being caught. It's chocolate coins. Everybody loves chocolate coins. Yum, yum, yum. Aha! Got you! Grandad Dog has been caught. Try and take my treasure, would you? Tis mine! I won it fair and square! Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, uh, thank you, Captain Hog and Dogbeard, for the lovely pirate game. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, oh, yes. It's been lots of fun. Happy birthday, Danny! <laughs> This be the best pirate party ever! George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three... George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten! With your knot, here we come! <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Peppa is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Peppa and George. <laughs> Move up. <laughs> there you all are. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Budge up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Ah! <laughs> Can we stop running around now? Yeah. Let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? We just sit around and talk about stuff. I like talking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about music. I dig blues music. Um, I like red's music. I like green's music. We don't like children's music. No, no, no. 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 What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> See Chloe again soon. I'm coming to your house next week, Peppa. Can, can we, we come, come along too? too? You can come, but we will be playing games. We like playing games with Peppa and George. Hooray! You can still have fun playing games, even when you're almost grown up. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans with a bing and a bong and a boo. Beans bang, baked beans boo, baked beans bingly bungly bang. Baked beans bang, baked beans boo, baked beans bingly bungly bang. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a story in the tent. I could tell a story, make it scary. <laughs> It was a wet and windy night in the Wild West. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something was outside the tent. Was it a wild animal? 
What's that? It's a wild animal! Ah! Oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, night, Cowboy Pedro. Pedro. <sighs> I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh! Wild animals! Ah! It's a wolf! Yes, it's my daddy. Oh! Mr Wolf has come to take Wendy Wolf home. All the parents are here to pick up the children. That's a nice teapot, Mr Bull. Yes, Peppa. It's made of delicate china. Mr Bull likes delicate china. You have to be very, very careful with china. Why? Because china can break very easily. <coughs> That's why I always... <gasps> oh, dear. Mr Bull has smashed the teapot to pieces. Oh, no! I put it down too hard. I don't know my own strength. Maybe we can fix it, boss. Oh, I've got cement. I've got a rivet gun. It's not going to work, lads. I know. Miss Rabbit has a china shop. She could mend it. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We'll go right now. Can I come too? We'll all go. <laughs> Mr. Bull is going to the china shop. This is Miss Rabbit's china shop. Here we are! Hello, can I help you? Moo! Ah! A ball in a china shop! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I have broken my china teapot. Oh dear. Can you fix it? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's very broken. I've smashed it to bits. Yes, but I think I can fix it. Oh, goody. Can we help? <coughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> oh, these two pieces fit together. Fixing the teapot is a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Well done, Peppa. I'll glue those bits together. <laughs> George has also found two pieces that fit. Well done, George. <laughs> Nearly finished. That's the lid. There's just this funny shaped bit left. Apple, apple orange, banana, banana, pear and pineapple too. Eat five pieces of fruit a day because they're good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fruit Day, where the magic of fruit never ends. Wow! So much fruit! Hello, Peppa! Hello! We are choosing our favourite fruit. What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. <laughs> Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? Is it bananas or oranges? George likes strawberries the best. Strawberry! George loves strawberries. Smoothies! Get your fruit smoothies here! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit! What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, delicious. Can I 
have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. It's got wheels. Car. <laughs> it's not a car, George. It's got legs. It's a table. <laughs> it's got a tail. Oh, tables don't have tails. There's a handle as well. What can it be? There's something else in the box. It's a toy horse. I shall call it Twinkle Toes. Or see Twinkle Toes. Or see Twinkle Toes. Or see. Remember, children, Aunt Dottie sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! <laughs> George likes playing with horsey. George, it is called Twinkle Toes, not horsey. Now it's Peppa's turn. I am Princess Peppa with my magic horse, Twinkle Toes. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, ho, I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck pond to stop. Ah. What was that big splash? <laughs> Hello? Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump. Today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. Wah! The puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Let me push you, then. But, Grandpa... <laughs> I'm bored of waiting. Me too. And me. Well, let's play on the roundabout. <laughs> Everyone wants to get on the roundabout. Too many children on the roundabout. 
Everybody off. <gasps> but Grandpa Pig, I was actually here first. Ah, then you can get back on the roundabout. I need to get on too. Oh, why is that, Rebecca? Um, because it's my birthday soon. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and me! Uh, all right. <laughs> is everybody ready? Yes! yes. <laughs> Stop! There are no boys on the roundabout. Um. <laughs> now is everybody ready? I'm wearing glasses. Can I go on, please? The children are making up their own rules. I need to get them because I like carrots. <laughs> now, are you all ready to go? No, I have to get on because I can do this. <laughs> Here is Mummy Pig. How are you getting on, Grandpa Pig? I I'm confused. These playground rules are too complicated. There is only one rule, Grandpa Pig, and that is... everyone waits their turn. Whee! <laughs> what? Even the little ones? Even the little ones. What about the very old ones, like Grandpa? Even the very old ones like Grandpa. At the playground, everyone has their turn. Whee! <laughs> 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 Danny Dog, I can bang a drum. I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Hey. Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah! Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh! Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. The water has gone. Thank you. <coughs> Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> and what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. <coughs> it only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping, but I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can still do dancing. Susie Sheep, what is your talent? Dancing. No, you can't dance. Oh, dear. Dancing was Peppa's last talent. It is so nice that everyone has chosen a different talent to perform. George isn't afraid of heights anymore. Ooh, it is a bit high, isn't it? I'll just go down the stairs. The stairs are full of children. That's the way down, Daddy Pig. Oh, OK. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up, hit the target and win a giant teddy. You can do that easy, Mummy. We don't want to win another giant teddy, Pepper. Don't worry. You won't win. Women are useless at this. I'm sorry, what did you say? It's a game of skill. How much for one go? One pound. <laughs> Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. 
Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. <laughs> no skill involved, but you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound. Bad luck. Ho, oh, oh, ho. I'm strong. I'll have a go. 